Hey Code Rookies, uh, this is Omar. So today we're going to talk about JavaScript functions. We're going to practice um, a function that will help you think in terms of JavaScript. I'm going to do a few videos on these, so this is the first of many. Um, and this is going to be a function that helps you determine if a letter is inside a word. So for example, if we have the word laptop, is A inside laptop? Oh, yes, it is. Is Z inside laptop? No, it's not. So how do we make that a function that does that for us? So we'll call this, we'll have a function in this name. This is the letter inside the word. Um, long function name, but I kind of like names that are self-explanatory. And we're going to take two parameters, or we're going to try to find two things. One is word, and one is letter. These parameters can be named anything. They're kind of like variables, but I like to name them something, again, that's self-explanatory. So we have var. We're going to find um, var index. Index meaning does the letter, is the letter inside the index of this word? Um, and this will make more sense as I type this up. Index of word.index of basically we're going to look for um, something that's inside of this word and that something is a letter and this part is important greater than negative one what this does is it makes sure to start at the beginning of the word all right and return index all right and that's it so let's go ahead and see what uh, let's copy this I'm going to copy and paste this into a console, uh, Google Chrome's console. Return. All right, so let's try it. Is the, okay, it kind of completes it for us. And let's do a parentheses. So first is the word. What word should we, um, oh, we can do a laptop. Let's do what my example was first. Laptop in the letter is A. And we return true. A is inside. Is the letter inside the word? True. Uh, let's try another one. Let's try Z. False. Uh, we can change up the word. Um, hello and E. True. That's it. So hope you learned something there. Um, and uh, it basically these functions Maybe you might use it in the real world, maybe not. It's just to help you kind of think in terms of JavaScript. All right, so I'll see you on the flip side.